FCP is celebrating its 150th birthday here at Cannes. And I have with me uh, Tina Allen, a global partner of Data Science and Connections. Uh, and she's going to talk to us about all things, everything that FCB is doing at Cannes and much more. Uh, Tina, uh, you are actually uh, the first agency from India uh, which brought home a gold. Uh, what are your expectations from the FCB India team? Well, first, thank you for having me. Um, my expectations for India is they continue their momentum and creativity. Mm -hmm. um, they always do show up well, but I love how they are setting the bar so high with a gold yesterday. Okay. And, you know, FCB is also celebrating, like I said, it's uh, 150th birthday party today. Uh, tell me, what is the best part about uh, being part of a legacy agency? The best part and the worst part. I mean, it's hard to believe that FCB is celebrating 150 years. That so, so old. <laughs> well, you know, so many companies go out of business before they even reach 100. And I sort of feel like as we reach our 150th, we are at the top of our game. I feel like we are truly leading the industry mm -hmm. and I'm super excited and proud of everyone who's here and the work we're delivering. So I would say that's the best part. The best part is um, just to see it all to come to fruition at camp. I think the hardest part is re-educating everyone mm -hmm. of FCBO, I've heard of them and they're 150 years old. Um, the innovation and the leading things we are driving in this space right now. Mm -hmm. So um, I like to say our data teams are the biggest startup and the most creative agency in the world. And I do believe India is leading in a lot of that as well. Uh, tell me how excited are you about uh, bringing this creative data specialty agency to India and also about getting it to partner with Connect, which is I think your proudest acquisition. Yeah, so um, I would say our relationship with Connect is not a new one. We've been on this journey together and we were very choiceful in this partnership. I would say it is a huge um, in scale and size acquisition for FCB, um, but it just absolutely fits in our vision of what we're doing to go forward. And we have been co-creating work together, I would say, for the past two years to prove that out. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like we're adding new people on. I just feel like we're bringing the family closer. Okay. And, uh, you know, at FCB and FCB 6 specifically, uh, you use data, performance, uh, customer experiences to drive results. But our campaigns today are becoming very transactional according to you that, you know, as soon as a sale is done, you know, people are actually forgetting what the campaign was all about. You know, if you really ask uh, even the CCOs today to name their five favorite campaigns of the year, they do really take a lot of time to think it's not at the yeah. tip of their uh, tongue. So it's very uh, concerning according to me. But do you think that's all right? I mean, that's the way things are supposed to move forward. Interesting. Um so Susan Cradle, our Chief Creative Officer, and I like to say that I think there is a big difference between campaign ideas and platform ideas. Mm -hmm. And I think what we do very differently at FCB and the partnership of FCB6 is bring that performance transactional commerce layer mm -hmm. through the lens of the brand. So we come through the lens of timeless mm -hmm. um, and we make sure that brand relevance is there. So it's balancing both, which is very hard, right? And I also say we are in this spirit of never finished. So we believe in never finished campaigns, never finished work. Even for us, we're never finished. So I think you've got to keep that in mind where some people just do campaigns and then they change. And there's up and downs. And I would even go so far to say as some of them are stunts. Mm -hmm. And we're not in the business of doing that. We're in the business of driving brand value and in the business of driving business value at the same time. And, and what are the top trends that you're seeing at Cannes this year? Well, I don't think you can go through any um, anything here at Cannes without hearing AI mentioned. Mm -hmm. I, I think you could walk along here. We're lucky to be here on, you know, right outside the Pele. And there are names of technology partners mm -hmm. with huge boats that you have never heard of before. So I think some of the trends are the massive engagement of technology, um, the opportunity with AI, um, and then I think the great creative work. I mean, the best part of Can is being on the stage, of course, but the mm -hmm. best part here is the work and the work we're seeing that's coming across globally. 
Um, so I think it's a lovely mix that everyone is coming to can. It's pretty crowded. It's pretty packed. It's never been busier before. So I do think it's the dawn of creativity as we escalate forward with technology. Okay, and um, we're at can. We have to talk about the best campaigns uh, from FCB. What according? To, which is your favorite, basically? You know, it's funny. Um, we're gonna be awarding a lot. I I have a lot of pieces that I I love dearly. Um, but I would say there's one that sort of speaks to the balance, and everyone knows at FCB Global, it's, it's close to my heart. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely one by our Canada office, actually, that is doing food delivery for a grocery chain. Mm -hmm. And what is so amazing is um, it starts out as a social activation and TikTok mm -hmm. and how people can buy and deliver their groceries. But then it connects back to all the marketing technology mm -hmm. and gives people one-to-one -one and drives commerce and drives sales and allows people to fill up their baskets more. And I think the future, and what I'm definitely looking at to the India Plus of Connect, mm -hmm. is marrying that, you know, ad technology channel of social with all the technology around first party data, around Salesforce, around all the partners they have to drive loyalty with customers and make that experience so easy. I don't think many agencies, as they look forward, um, I think they're still siloing all that. I think a lot of people are still in the paid media space, okay. and we like that customer experience to cross all of it. Um, and, you know, I, I think trending to table from Voila is one of my favorites, so I'm hoping it will place this week. Does it have the potential to become your Whopper Detour? <laughs> It oh it right now is my Whopper detour, so it's in many of my case studies. Um, I think I know uh, uh, for some people it's so good they can't believe it. Um, I think also it will be a platform idea that you will see continually re-entered at Can, and yeah, I'm expecting it to place. And you know, also talking about, uh, because we have to talk about uh, FCB India, yes. and they're doing very well. Uh, you know, in the past couple of years, in 2019, FCB was uh, the only agency to get a gold for India. Uh, the next year, they became the agency which got the maximum number of medals for India as a network. Again, the year after, which is 2022, they won the maximum number of uh, awards. So uh, the only thing that's missing right now is a Grand Prix from India. So firstly, I want to know from you, do you think we can expect a Grand Prix from uh, FCB this year? Is there a campaign which is that hard hitting according to you? Um, I love all my children in the global network equally. So I'm not going to make any guesses on what's going to win. But I will say, um, historically, what works best for us is an example like ChatPat, is an example of how we bring the intelligence of Connect how we bring the creative. And what I love about FCB is we all work on it. So even mm -hmm. though these cases are in different offices, I mean, I had the pleasure of meeting Chat Pat when I came to India. We are all very close and very committed to the work. Mm -hmm. um, and I do, you know, I love Swati's work that's coming across. Um, but I do think it's when we bring everyone together. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm fingers crossed with Rohan and Rohit and, and the entire team. So we'll see. <laughs> Earlier, we had uh, two power women steering the uh, FCB boat in India. Of course, there's Rohit, who's a strong pillar. Uh, but it was Susan and uh, Swati. Now added to the equation is Shani, Shani. and you. Yeah. So I really want to know what is that groundbreaking work that we can expect from FCB in the coming year? I think you're already seeing it. What was awarded gold last night, right? I mean, about the hair. In the and, coming year. I mean, uh, no. Oh, you know, I, I think it's very different when you work in as an organization that mm -hmm. have women at the top. And I'll say it again, it is very different culturally when women lead. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, it allows us to flourish different and unique ideas to the top. It allows us to get a much more diverse um, group and view. Mm -hmm. And um, poor Rowett, we are strong and we are mighty and we, are <laughs> and we move fast. So I think you're going to see um, a lot more empowering, purposeful work come from this team. Um, and I think the combination of talent. We all come from a different sort of background and skill set alone. I think we really have the ability um, to do some game changing work. So I think you're going to see, hopefully, something different that hasn't been done in the industry from us all. Super. I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Tina.